using Electrum wallets for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dash and Bitcoin Cash with your Trezor. Here I am at Electrum.org, the Bitcoin wallet. I'll click on Download. You can see there are versions for Linux, Windows, OS X and even Android. I'm not sure if Android works with Trezor. Here is Electrum-LTC.org. There are versions for Windows, Linux, and OS X. I've already downloaded both, so I'm going to go ahead and install Electrum Bitcoin Wallet. It's now installed. I'll go ahead and install the Litecoin wallet also. That's done. I'll open the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. I'm going to choose Auto Connect and click on Next. I can put a name for my wallet in here. I'll name it Trezor. Click Next. Now I want to select Standard Wallet and click Next. Then select Use a Hardware Device and click Next. Select a device and unname Trezor. Click Next. And now I need to enter my PIN. 8642. OK. I have a passphrase on this Trezor, so I'm just going to click OK and use the default accounts, not the accounts under the passphrase. Now I click Next and Next, and it will generate my addresses. Here's a history. You would see all your transactions. If you click on the Send tab, you can send Bitcoin. If I click on the Receive tab, it'll show me my address. I can change my QR code by putting in a description, changing the amount I want to send. If I go to the View tab, I can add addresses, which will show me all the different addresses that are associated with my seed. Again, I can go to View and Show Coins. View Show Contacts. Under the Contacts tab, you can add contacts, new contact. I can put in a Bitcoin address, name, save it. That way it'll make it easier for me to send that address Bitcoins in the future. I'll close the Bitcoin wallet and I'll open up the Litecoin wallet. Auto connect. Change the name to Trezor again. You can name it whatever you want. Standard wallet. Use a hardware device. An unnamed Trezor. Enter in your PIN number. Again, I'm just going to use the default account, not the account under the passphrase. So I'll just click OK and leave the passphrase empty. If you wanted to use your passphrase account, if you have a passphrase set up on your Trezor like I do on this one, you can enter the passphrase and unlock that wallet. I'll leave this as is and click Next. And, and Electrum will generate my Litecoin addresses. So here we are again on the History tab. This is where you would see any transactions that have been done on your account. Of course, this is a new account, so I don't have any. I'll click on the Send tab, and here you could send LTC. And clicking on the Receive tab, it'll show you your address, QR code, which you can change by changing the description or request an amount. Again, I can go to View, click on Show Addresses. 
show coins, show contacts. Addresses will show me all of the addresses associated with my account. Now keep in mind that these addresses are all legacy account addresses. Electrum does not yet work with SegWit. Hopefully it will soon. If I click on contacts, again I can add a contact, put in the address and name, make it easier for me to send LTC to that address in the future. So again, neither the Litecoin nor Bitcoin wallet are set up for SegWit yet, but hopefully they will be soon. Here I am at electrum.dash.org. You can see there are Windows, OS X, and Linux versions. I've already got it installed, so I'll double click on the shortcut on my desktop. It starts up. It asks, what do you want to do? I'm going to select create a new wallet. It asks, what wallet kind? I'm going to select hardware wallet and then click next. Now it asks, what do you want to do? I'm going to select use a device you already have. Select the type of wallet. I'm going to select Trezor and then click Next. It asks me to please select which Trezor device. It doesn't really matter which one I select, I'll just select the second one. Now it asks me to enter my PIN. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my PIN number. Click OK. Auto connect, next, and it loads up all of my Dash addresses associated with my default account. Now you can see the Electrum Dash wallet. On the first tab, the history tab, you would see all of your transactions. If you had any, this is a new wallet. So of course I don't have any transactions in here yet. It'll show you your balance in the bottom left corner. There are some preferences options that you can change. If you click on the Trezor logo in the bottom right hand corner, you can change some of the settings associated with your Trezor. Now I'll click on the Send tab. Here you can put in a Dash address, description, amount of Dash that you want to send, and send it. I'll click on the Receive tab. Here you'll see the Dash address associated with your account. You can type in a description, amount of Dash, that will change the QR code. I'll click on the Addresses tab, and here I can find all of the addresses associated with my account. Under the Contacts tab, I can add a new contact, put in an address, a name. That'll make it easier for me to send Dash to that address in the future. And there's a Console tab. Under Tools, you'll find options to sign verify a message. And Encrypt Decrypt Message, along with other options. There's also the Electron Cash Wallet that works with Bitcoin Cash. However, for me, it didn't work in Windows. I tried to load it here, but it failed. It stopped working. 
However, in Linux it worked fine for me. Here you can see it in Linux. So if you want to use any of these Electrum wallets with your Trezor, you can do so instead of using the default wallet.trezor.io. But remember that both Litecoin and Bitcoin only work with legacy accounts, that they do not yet work with SegWit accounts. Hopefully Electrum gets updated to include SegWit, but as of now, it's not. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.